Real fast, if you're interested in graphic design, I'm having a t-shirt design contest. Details are in the link in the description. Hello, and welcome to Gen 2, or part two of our series about Pokemon names, direct meanings, and translations from Japanese. Some are pretty neat and have deep meanings, and some are just fire, and sand, and seahorse. Like, not even the English word seahorse, the literal Japanese word for seahorse. It's like naming your cat, cat. Great. And just so I don't butcher all the names, I've gotten a native Japanese speaker to pronounce these names for me as clearly as possible. So, Gen 2, let's start with... Chikorita. The same as the English name, meaning little chicory. Bayleaf. Also the same as English. We're off to a mediocre start with this gen. Literally, bay leaf. Meganium. Same as English. Mega geranium. Hinoarashi. Here we go. This name can mean two things. One is fire porcupine, and the other is storm of fire. So it's like a pun, as in it means both. Magmarashi. Magma porcupine. Bakufun. Blast typhoon. Specifically, a fire blast. Waninoko. Means child of a crocodile or alligator. Notably, Japanese has one word to refer to both. Arigeitsu. From the English word, alligator. Odairu. Large king crocodile. Otachi. Tail standing weasel. Otachi. Large tail standing weasel. Hoho. The Japanese onomatopoeia for the sound an owl makes. Yorunozuku. Night and horned owl. Ladyba. A corruption and Japanese accented ladybug. Ladyan. A corruption and accented ladybug and red. Itomaru. Circle thread, like a spider's web. It can also be a shortening of their word meaning to roll up, like what spiders do to their prey. Ariadosu. Same as English, from Ariadin of Greek myth, and Spanish dos for two, because its butt also looks like a head. There's like two to three paragraphs worth of detail behind this name, and I go into all of it in this video here. Kurobatto. Same as English, from cross, bat, and acrobat. Chonchi. Japanese for lantern, harmony, and football fish, a family of anglerfish. Lantern. English, lantern. Pichu. Same as the English name, the Japanese onomatopoeia for sparkle and squeaking, also possibly from puchi, meaning petite. Pi. A shortening of pixie. Pupurin. Petite balloon that expands or inflates, also a pun on pudding. Togepi. Spike and the onomatopoeia for a bird chirping. Togechikku. Spike and the English chick, as in a baby bird. Neiti. A shortening of the word native, likely referring to Native Americans. Neitio. A corruption of native, or perhaps a shortening of nation. Meripu. Mary, as in Mary had a little lamb, sheep, and the onomatopoeia of a sheep making a noise. Mokoko. Fluffy wool. Denryu. Literally, electric dragon, also possibly from light bulb. Kirei hana. Literally, pretty flower. I can just remove the space from Pretty Flower. It's Pretty Flower. That's his name in Japanese. Mariru. Round lapis lazuli ball. Mariruri. Round lapis lazuli ball with a different inflection. Usoki. False liar tree. Yorotono. Sound of slithering lord. Notably, this is also a pun on dark spotted frog, or literally, lord spotted frog. Hanekko. Jumping leaf winged root. Notably, Hopip does look like a radish with leaf wings, and that would make the body the root. Popokko. Dandelion root. Watakko. Cotton root. Eipamu. Ape palm. Himanatsu. Summer sunflower nut. Kimawari. Yellow sunflower. Wow, thanks. Though yellow and joy in Japanese are both ki, so it could be joyful sunflower, or both. Yanyama. Literally, large dragonfly, but with emphasis. In Japanese, repeating a word or part of a word tends to mean further emphasis. 
In this case, Yanma is large dragonfly, so by repeating the first part, you are saying large dragonfly with emphasis. Large dragonfly! Upa! Comes from whooper looper, the Japanese term for axolotls. Nuo! Swamp king, mixed with their name for the Japanese giant salamander. Eifi! Psychic feeling evolution, specifically esper, meaning a person who has supernatural psychic powers, and also Eevee. Blacky. Blackie. Oh boy, just Blackie. But no, no, it's not just black with a Y at the end of it to make it a name. It's a combination of black and lucky, as in Japan, it is considered good luck for a black cat to cross your path. Curious how different cultures apply opposite meanings to things. Yamikarasu. Literally, darkness crow. Yado king. Hermit crab parasitic host king. Muma. Nightmare. Or literally, a demon in a dream. Unknown. Literally, the English word unknown, with the K still intact and everything. Unlike the English name for this Pokemon, unknown, without the K. Sonansu. This name is a common interjection that roughly translates to that's the way it is. This makes Wobbuffet blurting out its name very frequently in the anime at the end of Team Rocket shenanigans make a ton more sense. He's popping out and saying, that's the way it is, or they're blasting off again. That's the way it is. You know, we really miss out on a lot in other languages. Kirinriki. So this Pokemon has a really fun name. So first off, even in Japanese, it's a palindrome, meaning it's read backwards the same as it is forwards. And I hate that palindrome isn't a palindrome. But this makes it just like the English name, Girafferig. See? Read it backwards, read it forwards. It's the same. Here are the Japanese characters. Read it forwards, read it backwards. It's the same. But what does this palindrome mean? Giraffe telekinesis. Yep, giraffe telekinesis is a palindrome in Japanese, and I'm sure that's exactly where this Pokemon came from, especially considering its beta design. This Pokemon is based off of a joke. Kunugidama. From sawtooth oak balls, which are just these things. Foretosu. From forest, turret, and fortress. Nokotsu. This name is an anagram of Tsuchinoko, which is the mythical creature it's based on. Gurai-ga. From English, glide and gargoyle. Haganeru. Japanese for steel combined with English's tail or nail. Steel tail! Buru. Short for bulldog. Granburu. Grand bulldog or grand bully. Harisen. Short for porcupine fish, their word for pufferfish. Hassamu means to clip or snip. Tsubo tsubo. The word for jar, twice, emphasizing that it's a jar, as it makes juice out of berries, possibly like jam, and then you store it in a jar. Though it could also be jar just once, and then the second half of their word for barnacle, which is the same phonetically, jar barnacle. Heraklosu. From Hercules Beetle and Cross. Nyura. A combination of words that mean stray cat, meow, weasel, and sneaking in. Himeguma. Small Crescent Moon Bear. But this gets interesting. The word for small here also means princess, as in it means princess first and foremost, and later small. This word for princess came to be used as the more scientific way of saying small in Japanese, as in like the scientific Japanese species name. Rather than saying minor, you would say princess. It's a princess bear. Ringuma. Ring bear in the woods. Magmag. Magma slug. Magcargo. English magma and cargo. French escargot. Urimu. Wild boar piglet combined with the onomatopoeia for oinking. Inomu. Boar oinking. Sanigo. English sunny combined with the Japanese coral. Teppouo. Literally the Japanese name for archer fish, which is a type of fish that shoots water like a water gun. Though notably the Japanese word for archer fish is literally the word for fish and the word for gun combined. So this Pokemon could also be gunfish, you know? Octan. Both from English, octopus and tank. 
デリバード。Same as English. Deliver and bird. マンタイン。マントレイ、ミクスウィッタイン。エアームド。This name is an English pun. And really, this name could have worked in English also, but we went with Skarmory instead. This name is a combination of air and armed. Armed air. Armed. デルビル。A corruption of the English devil. ヘルガー。Hell as in hellhound and gar, a sound that dogs make. It's more common in Japanese to describe a sound that way. Gar. King Dora. Same as English. King Dragon Hydra. Gomazo. Combination of yearling and elephant. So a baby elephant. Donfan. The dawn or top elephant. Polygon 2. Same as English. Polygon with a Japanese accent and two. So, this name comes from the name of a device traditionally used to scare away birds and deer from gardens. A shishi odoshi. But moving some parts of the word around, we get odoshishi. Doburu. Comes from a bunch of English words dog, doodle, and dabble, like dabbling paint. Also, Spanish, double, meaning double, referring to its ability to copy opponents' moves. Baruki. A corruption of bulky. Capoeira. From Capoeira, a Brazilian martial art involving spinning legs in the air. Muchuru means trance or daze, as well as the onomatopoeia for kissing. Erekido Same as English, electric kid. Booby Booby baby. Mirutanku Same as English, milk tank. Happiness A combination of the English words happiness and nurse, as well as the Japanese word for eggplant. It's a happy eggplant nurse. Laiko. Emperor of Thunder and Lightning. Notably, the Onyomi reading, which essentially means the Japanese reading derived from Chinese pronunciations, means Thunder Duke, referring to Lei Gong, a Taoist deity of wind and lightning. Entei. Blazing Heat Emperor. And notably, the kanji can be written out this way, which is identical to the Chinese Yandi, who was known as the Flame Emperor. Water Monarch! And notably, it can also come from Crystal. Given its status as a game mascot, it works out perfectly. Yogirasu. So this is fun. The name comes from Gojira, the Japanese name of Godzilla, as well as Anguras, and I'm probably terribly mispronouncing that, but he's another Godzilla character. Along with those names, it also comes from Baby, Larva, and Hate. Sanagirasu. Comes from the same Godzilla characters, but also Pupa and Hate. Vangirasu. Also comes from the same two Godzilla characters, but also hate, savage, and barbarian. Lugia. Same as the English name. It comes from Latutium, a silverish element, as well as the Roman name for Paris, the city of light, Lutetia, and Latin for lie dormant, which is what Lugia does. It lies dormant at the bottom of the ocean. It may also come from Beluga whale, as both are white sea creatures. It may even come from Deluge and Luna. After all, the moon controls the tides, which Lugia guards. Also, notably, silver in alchemy relates to the powers of the moon directly. Neat. It's just like how gold refers to the sun in alchemy, which is represented by a phoenix. So, up next is. Hoo Which is an Onyomi transcription of the Chinese phoenix known as. And I'm going to butcher this, Feng Huang. And lastly, Serebi, which is the same in English, coming from celestial, cerebral, serenity, being, and Japanese for beauty, as in the beauty of nature. And the beauty of all these Pokemon names, so there you have it Gen 2 Pokemon names in Japanese, and what they mean and refer to. Be sure to subscribe and catch up with the next generations, and even more languages maybe. And until next time, please remember to never stop using your noggin.